Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. We have a very special video for you today. We are on board the 73 meter Lursen Coral Ocean, which recently has undergone an almost two year rebuild. And we have a very special guest today, Captain Will, who's gonna give us the full tour on board. Will, thank welcome you, sir, for doing this with Our us. Pleasure. The viewers are very excited, right? So we're gonna leave it to you to give us a full walkthrough and explain what you've done in the last two years. Fantastic, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Wow, look at this. So here on the boat deck, um, we've, we've on the boat, on the entire boat, we've changed the teak. Here on the boat deck, it's original, but with the with the with the, with the grey corking. Uh, the rest of the vessel has uh, uh, extra wide, one 120 millimeter teak uh, with no cross joints and, and finger joints only. So it has an amazing look of long long teak. Um, We've, we've, we've acquired a, um, a 38 foot Pardo as our chase boat. Uh, that's allowed us to remove, to make, to generate some extra space on this deck um, here for the gym. Yep. Um, and then we've, uh, we've changed out all the water toys and added a, you know, the usual array of amazing water toys. So over here we have the, um, the, the slide, uh, the inflatable platforms, the sun lounging platforms, and also an inflatable uh, pool for, um, you know, to stop jellyfish and other sea creatures. Um, also on this deck, you can see we've got uh, uh, three flight boards yes. from beginner through to advanced. Uh, we've got uh, sea bobs, sea scooters, uh, gym equipment, and uh, all the towables over here. The usual array of weight boards, neo boards. Um, we have a, a wing foil, um, as well as inflatable kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, and um, the Hobie. Oh, these are the pedal. Pedal boards. The pedal board things. Yeah. Elliptical. Exactly. Elliptical. Let me, let me, so the your chase boat. Do you tow that on long distances, or is it? Is it? Does it go under its own power? So you know, uh, around the Mediterranean, we'll we'll tow this. Um, you know, for, okay. for longer trips, anything over a couple of hours, we'll tow it. Okay. And then across the Atlantic, we'll, we'll put it on a ship. Put it on a ship. Okay. So have you had the structure on the bow like reinforce the towing? So it's yeah, not it's not original, the, right? Exactly. You can see the the design that Cantiera the forget the name of Pardo. Pardo, yeah. Um, uh, they actually put a hole through, and then we put a, a ah, spectra strop through there. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Nice. This deck's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And so then this, I see this, you've got these these discs. So how? What are these for? So around the boat, we have numerous areas where we can put the disco lights and the large JBL speakers. You'll see the big JBL speakers. We have six oh, right of those there. and four of the disco lights. So this deck in itself, it's a quick launch of the tenders, the jet skis, um, clear the deck. Uh, we have four lighting positions, four speaker positions. We put the DJ booth here and, Im wow. and immediately within an hour, we have a, a fantastic a disco deck. Proper dance floor. Party deck and dance floor. And all the, all the davits and cranes are built into the deck heads, is that right? You Correct. Can't... Yeah. yeah, and it now just... this deck has three, the, the two David cranes here, which, which service the tenders, and the, the third one here, which can service jet skis Easy. as well. And it all just goes over the side, tied off on the back, onto the inflatables, and this becomes an open space for the guests. Exactly, yeah. Fantastic, yeah. wow. Should we make our way up to the next deck? Great. Let's do it. What an unbelievable space on this boat. So you've got some sun, sun beds here. Is that all original as well? That was... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. there's uh, original spaces. Fantastic. So here you can start to see the, uh, the new teak. The wide... 120 wow. millimeters wide 126. planks. So let me ask a question. What, what's the benefit? Is that just purely aesthetic it's or aesthetics. is there... Okay. Well, you have less joins, so there's less to go wrong, but... Of course, uh, so less corking. It's, it's less corking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a bigger challenge finding teak, good teak with, you know, in that length and that sure, size. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, so yeah, it's yeah. a little more costly, as you can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine, um, yeah. But the, the look is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. The feedback's brilliant. Charter guests love it. Brokers love it. And, and we love it. It really yeah, looks yeah. great. Yeah. Um, great. This deck, we're now on the bridge deck. Yes. And this used to be the dining deck. Okay, uh, but right. we've removed the dining and taken that upstairs and generated a fantastic space on the owner's deck. Okay. And here we have a brilliant inside-outside space. The, the bar here opens out on three sides. 
and open out to this wonderful lounging area. Um, it's a real nice afternoon hangout, uh, afternoon tea or in the sure. evening for drinks, pre-dinner drinks. Um, and it's really created a, a, a quite a different space to the other spaces Absolutely. on the boat. I guess the, the glass is not original, this is new, or is that uh, original? Actually these are original windbreakers, oh, we've, wow. we've, we've, we've adjusted them and made them stainless and, and, right, okay. and improved them. Okay, but so you modernised them. Upstairs, yep. all, the, all the glass upstairs is from the next deck up is it's all a, brand new design and changed. Rebuilt, okay. Yeah. Great. Well, let's head on. Should we head on up? up. And now this deck you call the owner's deck. Is owner's it right? deck, yes. This is the owner's deck, okay. Or this particular area, the dining deck. Yeah. A few guests up here. Right. Oh, look at this, uh, the big sunbed so here. There's a, there's a huge change here. We extended these sunbeds and we made them convertible. If you look at the other side, you'll see the table is up. Yeah. And that, that allows us to put uh, seat eight to ten around for dining. Obviously, the sun pad option. So once you bring both tables up, and you get eight to ten here, twelve in the middle. We're up to around thirty guests on this deck for dining. Uh, yeah. Wow, okay. uh, obviously for events as well. We have it's, Functions, it's amazing yeah, functions. Yeah. Great, great flow. Um, so this deck was a huge transformation. We moved the structural pillars that were further inboard. We had a right. big tepidaki bar here. We, we got rid of all of that. Yeah. And we added these two bars and the buffet units on the on the bulkhead there. Uh, we generated pass-throughs onto the interior on both sides. Right. We added a second pantry on the port side and we've effectively separated out the galley and the service side. So the galley's here on this side we have a, a teppanyaki grill. Oh look at this. We have oh, a, this is pretty cool. We have a, a twin burner stove, we have a, a combi oven under here yep. and a pizza oven. And so we have effectively a second galley up here where the chefs can show off their you know their, their, their wares right here uh, in front of the guests. Amazing. And for Charles to the guests they must be like Wow, Loving this. This is like, a fantastic entertainment Yeah. The chef right on scene, you know, doing yeah. his thing. It's, it's, um, it's interesting because you said earlier that the main dining used to be on the, the, the lower deck. Yes. This is because you it's, personally being higher, you get a much better view. Well, yes, on the deck below, obviously, with the fantastic John Bannenberg design, where you have this central staircase, sure. it's great. Yeah, yeah. But you do lose a bit of the vision there. So when the dining was there, you couldn't see out. Exactly. Now we have the dining here. We've achieved like you say this amazing view we've added the wind breaks so we've yes. got the, the fixed glass and then the wind breaks right so for any inclement weather we can shut the wind breaks Close it up. we have an extremely large overhang here right um, okay which means that in any rain and wind when the boats at anchor okay. this this deck is usable we, we've been out here with 50 knots of wind and, and, and rain yeah, yeah. Uh, we've also added um, bromic um, uh, heaters in the sea oh, these are heaters these are heaters so this deck is uh, okay. on any all weathers. As, as you know, on any charter boat, you tend to predominantly down outside. You on do. This boat, it's even more so because we've really generated the space that's an all weather space. That's, that's really that's a nice detail. I like that. The fact you can close it all off, like you say, you have 50 knots of wind. Yeah. You're sitting back here. You don't feel anything. You still continue enjoying your lunch, have a glass of wine. Fantastic. Uh, so this is the, 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 the service side. You know, yep. Refrigerators, ice makers, um, beer keg, um, sparkling water, hot water. You know, everything was well thought about in terms of the service side. And that's really the owner himself who is a, is, is a, has got a lot of forethought, puts a lot of time and effort into design, yep. uh, really dedicated a, a huge amount of space to the service side to make yep. sure that the boat is not just good for the guests, but it's, it's got practical. to be practical for the crew to exactly. serve. And that's why we've, we've, we've yeah, we've done that. Yeah, absolutely. Great. So here we are in the uh, owner's foyer. Um, right. Currently we have a uh, treatment going on. Um, in here we've, we've got a skylight, beautiful mosaic, and um, this, this is where all the magic happens. It's where the fantastic treatments go on. Um, so we've tried to cater for every need that you might need on board when you're on holiday or maybe there's some things that you didn't get time to have done before you came away. So we've got the hydrofacial machine. This is to help brighten up the skin, rehydrate the skin and we can do that at the star at the end of the holiday. 
got the LED light therapy machine, we do waxing, tempting, manicures, pedicures. So we've got the natural light coming through, which is brilliant for those treatments, but then it closes up, it blacks out, and it's nice and cozy for your massages, body scrubs, facials. Great. Yeah, but a wide range in here. Fantastic. Yasmin, thank you very much. Thank you, Desmond. Fantastic. Thank you. Wow. So this this carpet made, feels like a cloud. <laughs> I wish the viewers could experience it. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm floating on it. So this, this area of the boat was a major layout change. Uh, we've doubled the size of the master stateroom from, from, from what it was before. Uh, now I've got this central entrance, his and her bathrooms, uh, the skylight under the pool, which is fabulous. You've got intelligent glass here, obviously for when you want privacy. Wow. That's pretty epic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very cool. All the, like, all the textures and design is just stunning. So moving forward, um, this is his bathroom. We've got a UV sauna here, as well as... A UV, UV sauna? sauna. What, what, Ultraviolet. Okay. Well, but so it doesn't generate the same heat, it gets the same feeling as a, as a regular sauna without, without the actual genuine heat of a, of a normal sauna. Wow. And you get that same feeling of the heat. So but, it, the reason for that is, is a safety feature, or is it just... Uh, uh, mm, it's just it, it, it's a lot easier to install okay um, so practicality wise but yeah. it's, a, it's a feature that the owners put on their other boat they really like it um so from our perspective um we're happy that they enjoy the uv sauna and it's very yeah. you know it's a lot easier to install than like a regular sauna in right terms okay. Of safety system okay I understand. it's also uh it works just as well with a lot less power and without the problems of all that heat that you just don't want on the inside sure. of the boat yeah absolutely. yeah um got twin showers here with the backlit jet glass behind absolutely beautiful obviously you've got an amazing view here this is yeah. the shower, shower with a view that is a shower with a view isn't it yeah you can see the uh the toilets uh the toto toilets yeah. so uh we actually did away with the b days and now we've got toto toilets and all the guest cabins so what the, what are the highlights of these toto toilets they're just fully electric self-cleaning you yeah. get all the features of a, of a B-Day, it, it, it was right, combined, okay, combined in, the, in the toilet. Wow. I had the pleasure of staying in the guest cabin the other day and uh, uh, yeah. it was my first experience. <laughs> okay. so it was interesting. <laughs> what's, what's this in the mirror? That... Um, oh, is this a light? Okay, that's a, nice, that's a nice little touch, isn't it? I've not seen that before. Hmm. Okay. So here as well we have the um, uh, smart glass. So this is the entire okay. glass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So now there's, there's no current going to it, and we put current into it, it goes transparent. Yeah, very brilliant. smart. Yeah. On this deck is fantastic because it's it's full beam. There aren't really any privacy issues anyway yeah. in this in this deck. Uh, only if you're alongside another large yacht or alongside a building, which is very rare, but yeah. it's there in case you need it. Yeah. And it, likewise, you've got it from the three skylights in the ceiling. Right. So into the master stateroom, as well as the as well as the major um, layout changes on this deck, we. We lowered the windows by around about 400 millimeters. Okay. So we had a very, you know, John Bannenberg's design was a very a sort of a visor look. Right. And that yes. compromised the, the view from the stadium. Yeah. They actually had a very high bed with, that raised up even higher uh, on an electric raise. And, and we, we, you know, the owner really wanted the, the extra vision and the extra yeah. light. And by lowering them, we've gained a huge amount of light in the bathrooms, um, which we wouldn't have had otherwise. Mm. And in the stateroom, we just gained a, you know, a vastly better view because now you're looking down at the water closer to the vessel. And uh, yeah, and so much more light. So I'm really, really happy with that change. We Did talked about the retractable mast that used to be here. Uh, yes, that's gone. Okay. So the television isn't here. Obviously, you've got the full 180 view, actually, more. Um, so let me ask a question. So when, when the owner bought the boat before the rebuilds, yeah. did he use it for a season and work out what he wanted to do, what you guys wanted to do with it? Or did he buy it straight into, into the rebuild? He jumped on board, he bought the boat at the Monaco show and he actually left he left the show on the boat. So it was the quickest save. Wow, okay. <laughs> no um, Mickey Mousing around. So, I want the boat. So he Let's left go. on the boat um, and then we spent a few days on board and uh, him enjoying the boat and deciding what he wanted to do. Okay. It was probably only a, probably, probably less than a week, about a week maybe. And oh. that, that was the that was the last time he used the boat until um, until wow. Monaco this year. So, um, so he bought the boat and he couldn't use it for almost two years. It was well, over, over two years. Over, yeah. over two years, sorry. Between COVID and, and, COVID, and then yeah, the course. refit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Not a bad place to wake up in the morning, right? 
to this, to the view. Yeah, it's fabulous, really fabulous. <sighs> Smells so nice in here as well. Fantastic, right, let's, right. let's crack on. Yeah. And there's the dressing room here to our left, right? Ah, right? yeah, we have yep. that. So, so her bathroom and dressing room. Oh, this is her bathroom as well? Yeah, she has more, she has a, a toilet Oh, I here. see, okay. Um, and then we've got the hair washing station. Um, the, 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 again, the backlit gem glass here, which is on at the moment. And then uh, the Hollywood mirror that raises up and yeah, down here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is great. It's a yeah, great feature. Great. Uh, and, the, and the ladies really like this, you know. Uh, it doesn't just look good. Practically, they say this, you know, this is superb. Yeah. You know, a great amount of wardrobe space. Um, you know, great storage for, for, for jewellery and, um, and accessories, really. Really, it's been, been well thought out and yeah. it's, a, it's a great space. Cool. So really the jewel of the crown here, um, this, this, this was, uh, well, we, we took everything off this deck. Uh, we started again and then we were bare aluminium and uh, it's a full redesign. So, so the first area, the sun deck forward, this is the new pool um, designed by, by H2 Design, really fabulous, built by Four Seasons Spa. So really the best in the business here and it's, it's phenomenal, we, we love it. It's stunning, what a space, yeah. huh? And talk us about these, these I guess these are skylights that are looking down. Yeah, so on this deck we've got three skylights on the sun deck which go into the owner's deck. Right. This is the one through into the master stateroom. Okay. Uh, and can this be black towels? Like yes. from the owners, so from the cabin, the inside? Of you... course, because it's into the cabin. So yeah. So if you're trying to have out. some fun with your missus, you yeah, want to... Yeah, well, you know. you've, got, uh, <laughs> you've got intelligent glass. If you want privacy, you want privacy but still light. And then beyond that, we have the full blackout. Right, okay. Yeah. A few changes here. This carbon mast was added. Previously, there was a retractable mast here, uh, and that went through the owner's stateroom and through into the bridge. So right. by making it a fixed mast, it gave us a much better view in the master stateroom. Of course. And it gave me a bigger desk as well. Which yeah, was very nice. important. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities, guys. Uh, what a space this is up here. This is beautiful. So added, yeah, added the shower here. I should talk about oh, these. Um, this is just a work of art. It is, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. That's completely custom, right? Uh, no, no, this is a uh, inox in style. style. Yeah, these guys, uh, these dad did make it make Don't great products. Don't touch it with your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. So um, these these. These glass balustrades was also, you know, a, a brainchild of the owner. Um, he wanted high bulwarks to be able to shelter from the wind. When yep. you anchor, as you know, you can often not end up on the sun deck because it's too windy. Right. Yeah. Love to lounge, and when you're lounging there with these uh, with these 1.35 meter uh, bulwarks, yep. then you, you don't feel the wind. Absolutely. And so, the, the cushions aren't blowing everywhere either. No, so for the crew, you're not getting yeah, cushions overboard. You still got a problem with the umbrellas, but anyway, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> down today with the wind. Yeah. <laughs> Can't have it all. So moving off, this is an entire new structure. So this is a composite hard top. It's designed oh, so and built this from entire scratch. structure is brand new. Yes. So this entire structure is new. Right. And, and this, did, all this was reconfigured. This used to be a bunch of steps going down to a, a plunge pool that da that went right down into the deck. Okay. So all of this is was back to a complete bare aluminium and major structural changes over the top two and a half decks. Wow. Uh, effectively wow, wow, new wow. build. You know, we were, yeah. we were bare aluminium, and then and then all the systems are new: electrical, safety systems, plumbing, fire systems everything okay um, and this new structure you says composite so this is composite right the mast the mast is carbon right um, and yeah keep the weight the... weight down exactly yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this space huh? now moving inside we've got these retractable sunroofs Oh, wow. It's a really, really okay. fabulous. That's a good touch, that one. Uh, we've got the opening sliding doors up forward, which can be set to auto open or open or, at the moment, they're half closed, which is great. Um, here we have the breakfast area. This is also convertible, so this table, like the owner's deck, goes up and down. Uh, in the down position, you put a cushion there and you have a sun pad. Nice. You can gaze and watch the stars through the... Yeah, uh, like, a, like a day bed. Exactly. It's yeah, no, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Again, on the service side, it was important to maintain um, uh, independence of each deck yes. and have the serviceability. So the bar, making sure we've got all the ice makers, the fridges we need. The coffee uh, machines. The coffee machine, the sparkling water, hot water, all of this. Champagne on ice, very yeah, important. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And this space actually fully encloses, if you like. So we have the windbreakers aft, which fully enclosed, the forward doors shut. 
and you can we've got 128,000 BTUs of air conditioning in this place. Oh, wow, we've okay. got an extra chiller in the engine room, and there's a massive amount of air conditioning. So if they really want to enclose an air conditioning, you can do. Fantastic! Wow, what a space! And then this big TV screen yeah. um, folds up into the so deck folds head. Up into the deck head. That's an 85. You know, really, wow. really fabulous. So in the evening, you get anchor, come up here, chill, put a movie on. Exactly, yeah. Really, That's really great. Yeah. Wow. It's also quite a convertible space, because this, this is all loose furniture. The forward's fixed, but this is convertible. Right. You know, if you had charity guests that wanted to put uh, a yoga studio here, or we want, just you wanted can... to do something else with the space, yep. you could remove these, take them off the boat, and uh, do something different with the space. Beautiful. And obviously, with the windbreaks open, yep. uh, they fold all the way back, so it really opens out straight onto like the... indoor, uh, outdoor... Onto the aft deck. Obviously, at the moment, with this down and the windbreak shut, yep. this isn't the normal mode. This is just because we've got this strong wind. Wind. coming from our sure. quarter, yeah, yeah. but uh, um, yeah. Just protect it. And then I guess for security, you've got cameras all around, all around the boats. Yeah. Yeah, to so, make sure. Uh, new camera system, obviously, yeah. new IP camera system. It's really, really fabulous. That's it. Mo moving down, we're moving on to the, um, onto the bridge deck. So as we spoke about before, the top two decks are... are so this are, is what deck? This is the bridge deck? Bridge deck. Okay. Yeah. It, and usually there's no connection through to the bridge, only yeah. exterior and then down right. and up. Okay. So it's a slightly different layout in that respect and an aspect that obviously was not going to change in the refit. What, what has changed is that there was a staircase up from this deck to the master stateroom before. Okay, yeah. And with the major changes up there, um, that impacted this deck, and quite rightly so, because it's allowed us to open out this stateroom all the way to the to the port side. Yeah, oh, so wow, we have yeah. light on both sides and a much bigger VIP. Uh, it also means that this, this uh, study salon um, becomes entirely private because we can shut the second door now and make this a VIP suite. It almost um, It's almost like you've got two Martha Kevins on board. It, it, it is it? like we've got two. We, it's this, incredible. This, this, this stateroom and this suite certainly rivals the master. Certainly by the time you add the add the, um, the study, yeah. um, it, it, it's, it's very much a double master room. It is. And this is completely private for your VIP guests. You can they, choose they... to, you can, you can shut this door if you like, okay. and just have it as a stateroom, oh, right. okay, as, yep. as a cabin, yeah, yeah. or you can shut the second door here yep. and then make the entire space private wow, and have it as a, as a suite. Great sound system in here, 7.1 surround, big subwoofer, nice. 85 inch, so it's also a, it's a great, another great TV room, games Fantastic. room for the kids, it's, you know, it's a great yeah. space. I really like the wide sofa, like almost proper lounging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now this great. is a feature. You'll see this downstairs repeated. Okay, to yeah. To a bigger degree. Yeah, <laughs> it's so important. You don't want those little dinky things. Nice yeah. and wide, you can relax. The boat's been built. Also, not beautifully, but practically yeah, as well. Yeah, one of the biggest challenges, and that comes yeah. with the timeline as well. You know, we all, at times, you have to compromise, but you know, ultimately, you're, you're the ones responsible to make, to make it happen. Yeah. Um, this is another layout change. We added this day head because there wasn't one on this deck. It's very important again for the owner to ensure that the boat was was, was both practical for guests and crew. And, and this is from a guest aspect. Yeah. Yeah. We've got that extra day important. head in there. Yeah, that was a good call, certainly. So another addition here is the um, is, is the pantry slash storage we, we included here. Okay. Uh, again, all related to the serviceability of the boat. Yes. You know, we had the bar here, and that's all new, but but. Um, we wanted, to, we wanted to ensure as much as possible that the boat was self-sufficient on each deck, that yeah. we had the glassware, the crockery, the cutlery on each deck to service the guests without having to go you know, yeah. across multiple decks. That's really important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pantry service areas every deck just makes perfect sense. And so here we get to the, the bar or the informal salon. Um, another different space to the rest of the boat. It opens out on all, all, all three sides. Um, not today with the wind, but uh, as you can imagine, it's a really nice, nice. open air feeling. Yeah. Um, the dining used to be on this deck, and so it meant yeah. that they spent a lot of time on this deck as a dining deck, but now it's more of a lounging afternoon, pre-dinner drinks. Um, you know, it's, it's a multi-use space, but it's a different space to the other ones. Really, really great. Plenty of booze behind the bar, viewers, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
So that's, uh, that's the bridge deck. Moving on down, we're moving to the main deck. Um, Look at this. So the main salon, um, in another fantastic space. That is this, this opening door is an original feature that obviously we kept because it's really fantastic. It is, yeah. Um, you know, obviously part of that uh, refit rebuild was was obviously engineering. So all of all the systems have been, you know, fully serviced. You know, including the hydraulics for this door, and we did a full paint job at the same time, inside and out. So, um, so yeah, new new gas balustrades here, and obviously the the full interior. This 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 TV is really cool. Um, it, it it folds down and slides inside the puff. Okay, yeah. So you know, it's away most of the time, but for both shows, we tend to have it out so people see it. Yeah, of course. It's a feature. It gets in the way. Yeah. You know, but. Um, yeah, it's great to have. Really nice Beautiful. when you've got kids on board and they want to play yeah. games or whatever. What a room this is. Yeah, really fabulous. This is, fa this is, this is fantastic. It's so cosy and homely in here. Yeah. And have it open to the sea. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. Cracking, cracking setup this is. Wow, look at this. Yeah, the dining room is phenomenal. Um, you know, same shape as before. No, no, no layout change, but obviously completely transformed. Um, really, really stunning. What a space to enjoy a meal with your friends and family, right? Yeah. I love the two wine coolers there. Yeah, they're, they're really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we have the same feature on the owners of the boat and the design was taken from that. It was yeah. something we, we carried over. It's one of the things of having a, an owner that knows boats and he knows what he wants and, yeah. and bringing those great features that they've learned over the years sure. and, and uh, to every aspect of the design. Yeah. You know, the, the owner's heavily involved and, and it's really his brainchild, this yeah. entire refit. We, we were the ones tasked to, to make it happen. But uh, really, the, you know, the ideas and the concepts yeah. really um, you know, have come from him. So. That's also the importance of an experienced owner. Yeah. You know, he's had boats for many years. He knows the pros and cons, and he's found what you know exactly what he's he wants. And exactly. Yeah. 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 I love the space. I had the pleasure of being one of the first people to dine in here when it was ready. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Um, with some of the owners' family and and and, uh, and the Ahoy Club, and and we <laughs> we had a wonderful dinner around here. It was barely finished. We're still putting panels on. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was great. That's you know, fantastic. Really, really fantastic yeah. space. Uh, was, Beautiful. Uh, right. Shall we continue? Absolutely. So moving down now, well, this is the main entrance foyer. Yeah. Um, although it's, to be honest, rarely used. From You'll see later from the tender, uh, there's a door straight into the lower deck. Right. And then the, the upper guest cabin guests tend to walk up straight up the back. So understand. Although, okay. although it's technically the main entrance, rarely used. We've got some AV racks in here and storage. Okay. Uh, this is the beautiful Agate um, yeah. backlit panel. Um, it's really cool. nice. And then going down now to the, uh, to the lower deck. So here on the lower deck, uh, we've got a, a four cabin layout. We've got three um, three king berths, uh, two meter beds, and one twin convertible. Lovely. Let's start in the convertible. And they all have their own. They're all featured, right? They all have their own. They all design. have a different design. You know, here we have this. Uh, this sort of uh, anchor chain. Anchor chain, yeah. Oh, that's that, yeah, that's like really this. cool. Currently set up for sort of kids, um, yeah. but the beds. This is a convertible. It's a Hollywood convertible, so at least push together and have a big top over. Right. The top. Okay. So yes. You can make it a, a, a four four doubles on this on this deck. And in the bathrooms, we 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 had some layout changes here originally. Originally a door across here in a much smaller bathroom. Oh, wow. uh, we've, we've, we've moved that bulkhead and put a sliding door in. And it's, as you can see, the, the bathroom's for, for a guest cabin. There. It is they're, they're, monstrous. They're, enormous, they're beautiful. Um, so I was lucky. You play a game of tennis in here. Yeah. And moving aft, we, we're coming into the spa. And we've got a a day head here. Mm -hmm. like we said one on every deck. This was an original space, but we've obviously refitted it. And then um, an area I really like the, these um, jellyfish um, panels in the in the um, in the steam room. Look They're at the really, steam room. Really stunning. You've got the sparkle lights on the on the deck there as well. And, um, mm. This is beautiful. Yeah, really fantastic nice. space. And you've got that that new teak smell in here as well. Yeah. You know that nicely new sanded teak. Yeah. I guess it's brand new teak, but I love that smell. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. a fun platform. 
Yeah. A really nice large swim platform. Uh, we've got you know the the really solid German built with you know bumpers here. These are these are fantastic for tenders. Yeah. Um, really good solid swim platform. Uh, sorry, swim ladder. Swim ladder. Uh, as well as. Oh yeah, look options, at that bad boy. Options for, for for extra ladders on the side as well. We have a second ladder there. Right. Okay. Um, We've got showers here. We installed um, a nice big stand-up shower here, similar oh, yes. to the Sunday one, yeah, yeah. handheld shower. But we also installed a second one over here because often you get 12 guests coming back together. And they want to. a bit to. of a queue for the shower. Sure, so, sure. so we thought to add a second one. Um, these are inflatable lounges that actually live on the platforms that we talked about on the boat deck. Oh, these so are on, the on fun the, air ones, are they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we have four of those for section three, the furthest section, yeah, yeah. With, the, with the lounges on them. Or they go to the beach for the beach setup. So we have, an, right. we have another six or so for the beach setup. Um, Stunning. A really, really great deck. So the boat's great for service. This is the, the crew corridor. We've got a crew stairwell running up the whole port side of the vessel, so okay. it's excellent for service. A done way to hear um, emergency wow. engine room access. I won't make you go down there because it's, sure. it's a bit steep. That's a proper um, done waiter, isn't it? The Mickey Mouse there. And then yeah, the, the full crew stairwell. So you know that, that that's an existing layout that was was really great. The boat was always really fantastic for service. Uh, up here is to the bridge. That's right. Just to clarify how many crew you're running with? Uh, typically around 24. 24 crew. At times when we have extra um, beauty therapists, perhaps right, 25 okay. or so. The boat's actually certified for, for 28 crew and, and supernumeraries, or uh, occasional workers as we call them nowadays. Yeah, sure. Um, so moving aft, we're into the uh, engine control room. So here, we, here we're going into the engine room. Systems are still original. We've got the original main engines, the, the uh, 3516s. Uh, so we've got uh, uh, fantastic ca original Caterpillar engines. New generators over the years, so they're they're, they're fairly new. Um, and yeah, let's have a look around. We do a walk around, and then we can just quickly. So what what uh, what are you cruising at here mostly on boards? About Corin? thirteen. Thirty knots. And what, what, you say you're, what are you burning? What are you burning in total, including your your journey journeys um, at thirty Under five hundred, around about four fifty an hour. Okay. All right. We're we're, we're under ten thousand a day on passage at that sort okay. of speed. Okay. Um, which is great. The boat's really quite e efficient. Um, yeah. Really okay. Good. And your range? So at that speed, around about five and a half. Okay. Or maybe, yeah, 10 and a, 12 and a half, we're, we're up at five and a half, six. Yeah, okay. six. Okay. So um, it'll be my first crossing on a, um, just, just about after, after the Monaco show, taking her over. So um, look forward to seeing what the actual results are. But that's, okay. that's, our, uh, that's our indication from our, from our testing. So you guys crossing over to do, do flips? Correct. You yeah. are, okay. Yeah. Well, I might see you guys there then. Great. Oh, this is great. Look at the size of these bad boys. Insulation. Ah, okay, so this is your, these are, you got exhaust scrubbers, is that right? Yes, yes these are the hugs, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, on, the, on the generators. On yeah. the generators, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You need those. But your exhaust goes, the exhaust of these, that they go out the sides of the yeah, hull? Or? Yeah, everything's out of the side, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this, this helps prevent all the black build up on the exactly. hull, right? Yeah, I have yeah. no problems with this right. on the hull. It's okay. a tiny bit from the emergency generator, but it's rarely running, but um, you know, it's a dry exhaust, yeah. so that's what it is. I see a lot of yachts now are putting um, ceramic coating. Yeah. Have you guys? Yeah, we've I, looked at it over the years. It, we thought about it. Um, uh, you know, we, we had we had debate with our paint surveyor over with what to do with a newly painted hull. We've used the All Grip HDT, okay. so we really hope that's got the longevity anyway, being a hybrid system. Uh, um, we chose not to put anything on. We'll assess okay. that in a year's yeah. time okay. and see. But um, you know, all the challenges with repainting. We had some challenges on our on the paint this time with some previously coated areas that right. gave us challenges. Okay. Uh, much as everyone says they, you know, you, you, you've got products to take it off, it still causes challenging in the repaint yeah. process. So, so at the moment we've chosen not to, but we're open to the idea in the future. Okay. Like I said, right. we don't have a problem anyway, so yeah. 
If you haven't got a problem, yeah. why fix a problem that doesn't exist? Exactly. Um, so underneath, uh, on, on, the, on the deck below, we have the three generators there. Right, OK. Yeah. Oh, your Jennies are cats as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah OK. It's nice so, to see yeah. uh, so engine work, room working, work seven. Working workbench. Work in operation. This is what we want. This is what we want to see. <laughs> so, what's, so what are you re rebuilding here? What part is a uh... sewage discharge pump? Sewage discharge pump. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what do you reckon? It's awesome. Cool. Right. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. I love seeing these areas, thank you. I love them. Wow. Okay, here we are in the bridge. Look at this. Wow. So we've made a number of changes here, primarily because we changed the mast. We've, we've taken the opportunity to, to upgrade a lot of the nav equipment. Uh, we've added the Fruno radars because we had some underperforming um, radars beforehand. Okay. Uh, we've upgraded the, the Transas um, uh, to a full paperless system. Uh, new CCTV system. Wow, and yeah. Beyond that, you can see the new lav lights, the Lopo lights, uh, new sounder, clonometer, uh, tow pro system for the tender, okay. um, new camber steering system. Um, so you, you, yeah. sorry, you said tow pro system. Tow pro. What is, is that? This is a monitoring system that monitors the systems on the tender, monitors um, the, okay. uh, the... so you've got like bilge alarms... Bilge, and like bilge levels, bilge alarms, um, uh, frequency of bilges, uh, bat battery voltage levels. Okay. But it also has a, it also has a, a gyro, so it tells the, the how much the vessel's yawing and, and how much it's moving. Okay, okay. I've not heard of this that, system that before. That data's fed back. So what I like about this system over some of the others, many of the systems like this will tell you when the, when the, when the tow line breaks and it will give yeah. an alarm, great. Um, we should be doing that ourselves, but yeah. in case you it's miss a it, yeah, yeah, it sure. tells you when it happens. Sure, sure. But what I like about this system is the, the real-time data is what gives you an, an idea that there's a, a, there's a problem building, you know, because yeah. there's water being taken on, because the batteries are getting low. Um, the, all of these factors that, that mean there might be a problem with the tender are all being monitored, so hopefully you can you can find, you know, work out if there's a problem before it happens. Okay, so what else we got here? We've got so, gyro compass. Yeah, we've got obviously tw twin gyros on board, okay. um, single single autopilot, uh, but a full on shoots um, um, navigation system, mm -hmm. uh, steering system. Uh, the Quantum Zero Speed stabilizers, nice. and then the controls. The boat has uh, controllable pitch propellers, so we have the camera work controls to control that and the uh, and the engine revs. Wow, beautiful! What a place! And then you've got the rest of the bridge as well, which is. Yeah, and the rest of the bridge is a very practical uh, workspace. We've yeah. got the chief officer station here, the nav table, um, a nice meeting table. These 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 helm chairs swivel around to become a, a meeting space. And we've got three more desks here: one for the chief stewardess, second officer, and, and the captain's desk here, uh, with, with the captain's cabin behind. It's great having the captain's cabin right up next to the bridge as well. Yeah, it's the, yeah, it's the, it's only, it's way. the only way it's, to have it. It's really great. Fantastic. Uh, GMDSS station as well over here. Oh yeah. So it's a, it's a really practical bridge. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit more isolated from the guests than some boats. Yes. But often you'd have a central corridor going back through the guest yes. area. So it has its pluses and minuses, yeah. but uh, you know the guests are welcome in here and tend, they tend to come via the exterior doors. Right. And it has great access to the deck, to the foredeck, which is nice. Uh, with a nice seating area here for, for guests can come and relax at or, 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 or we can sit out doing, yeah. doing lookout duties. So really it's a very practical bridge, very large. Um, we've, we've lightened it up quite a bit. It was all black leather around the windows, so we've, we've lightened it up, we've lightened the floor up. Uh, our our in-house onboard carpenter actually made this wonderful table with the, uh, with the coral inlay. Yeah, uh, lovely. job there. Um, yeah, nice. so. Fantastic. And I think, does that conclude the tour? It does. Will, Thank you've you. been amazing. A pleasure. I can assure Thanks. you, the audience, the viewers have <laughs> loved watching this tour. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on board. Thank you very much, guys. Great. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, 
click that thumbs up button. Uh, any questions about the yacht, you can post them in the comments box below because Will has promised me he's going to answer all the questions in the comments box. I'm joking, by the way, don't he won't. He's too busy. Thanks again, guys. See you all next time and ciao. Thank you.